Today we're going to be taking an in-depth look at what kind of experience you can expect to have with the Cube Station app should you choose to buy the GAN 356i2 Smart Cube. So the app itself has four main sections. Today we'll be taking a look at each. So in this first section of the app titled AI Teaching, a new user would come and presumably learn how to solve the cube for the first time. It's broken up into eight lessons and it teaches you layer by layer. Here I've clicked on lesson seven, which is gonna teach a new user how to orient the last layer edges. But instead of taking me directly to last layer edges, it glitched out and took me to one of the earlier steps where it's gonna teach me cubing notation. This brings me to my first point. I think this section of the app is the least user friendly and has the most glitches. The app has a really low 2.7 star rating on 94 reviews in the App Store and I think a lot of it has to do with this type of glitch that users get early on with the app. The last point I want to make about this section of the app is I think its entire existence is a bit counterintuitive. If we think about it, most new cubers are gifted a Rubik's Cube branded cube from someone and then they use YouTube to learn how to solve it. Very rarely are you going to find someone who wants to shell out $75 before they're even you know, before they even know if they want to get into this hobby or not. So I don't think that there are very many cubers who would buy this cube not knowing how to solve the, you know, the cube at all in the first place. But that's of course their choice and assuming they did buy it and they got past the glitches in this first portion of the app, they would have an experience like this where an algorithm pops up on screen, the user executes it, can practice it as many times as they want, trying to memorize it and then they get a chance to put their skills to the test to see if they've actually learned it. So all that said, I'm gonna give this portion of the app a two out of five star rating. All right, let's move into the AI solve portion of the app. This section of the app uses artificial intelligence to find the fewest moves to solve the cube, tells you how to orient and hold the cube, and then allows you to scramble it however you want, and then it tells you the fewest moves. Obviously, there's an official WCA event called FMC, or fewest move count, so if you're into that, and you wanna get more efficient at, at solving a cube in the fewest moves possible, this could be really cool for you. You could see how, it, how artificial intelligence would do that. Um, for me personally, I'm not into that. That doesn't really excite me, so I'd, I know I won't really use this section of the app, um, but again, if you're into that, this could be really cool for you. So just because I know I won't personally use this, and frankly, this is my review, I'm gonna give this three stars. Now we'll move into the third portion of the app titled Personal Training. The Personal Trainer has four sections within it. We'll look at Algorithm Training first. The Algorithm Trainer lets you choose Layer by Layer or CFOP. If you choose CFOP, it gives you F2L, OLL, or PLL trainers. Let's take a look at the OLL trainer. It tells you how to orient your cube. Gives you an OLL, you execute it, it times you. Kind of neat is you can click on that little eye icon and it'll show you what the algorithm is if you forget. Or you can actually just look at all the algorithms themselves. Pretty neat, has the full list, all 57 OLLs. It does the exact same thing for PLLs. And of course for F2L as well. What's nice is the F2L is in color. I don't know why the OLL and PLLs aren't in color. I wish those were. But that's just nitpicky. This section is pretty neat overall. All right, still within personal training, now going from algorithm training to free scramble. This section of the app is really just what it sounds like. There's no timer on your scramble at all. You're not given an algorithm to scramble with. You just scramble the cube however you want to. You take as long to scramble. Then you take as long as you want to for inspection which is probably not a very good habit to get into, but it lets you do it here while you learn, and then you solve. A bit of a clumsy cross here, but we get it in, get it oriented. It takes me forever to find that first pair. Finally get it, insert it there in the back left slot, looking around forever for that next pair. Oh, there it is, finally inserted it to the front right slot. Cube rotate, insert into the front right, and find that last pair front left. Almost dropped the cube there, but did the OLL. Takes me way too long to recognize this. Execute the JPerm, and then U2 for the AUF. All right, so there's a quick sample of what the free scramble section is like. Let's go back and go down into the standard timing. This is without a doubt the most difficult section of the app. 
you get a scramble given to you that you have 30 seconds to execute and inspect. So if you're if you struggle uh, to do the scramble like I did in this case, you'll end up with very little time to inspect. One thing that's cool is if you make a mistake in your scramble, it turns red like it did there, and it brings you back to whatever you need to do to undo your mistake. It's kind of a neat feature the app has. So finally able to get the scramble done here, and I just have two seconds left for inspection. All right, so basically forced to jump right into it, really clunky cross, searching forever for those pieces, finally find them, uh, get it oriented correctly, find my first pair and insert it. Something really lucky happens here during the second pair. As I insert it, it pairs up red and blue. I'm like, whoa, so I go ahead and insert that, finish off with my last pair, uh, move right into OLL, identify PLL, and execute. So even without inspection, this ended up being four seconds faster than my last solve. That's it for standard timing. The fourth and final thing under personal training is the algorithm scramble. I'm gonna speed through this section because it's identical to the section we just looked at. The only difference is that you have 60 seconds and 30 instead of 30 seconds. Again, just speeding through what ends up being a pretty average solve for me across the board. Uh, this portion of the app I think is pretty useful if you're wanting to transition from the free play section of the app to becoming more advanced, but you're not quite ready to move into the 30 second version. All right, as I wrap up OLL and PLL in this solve, we'll get to the review of this third out of four sections of the app. I think the personal training portion of the app is absolutely fantastic. It's by far my favorite part of the app. It gets five stars from me, no doubt about it. All right, so we're gonna move into the fourth and final section called Online Battle. Like the previous section, there's four parts to this. You can battle friends in the app, a beginner's mode that's like training wheels, there's a virtual battle section, and then my favorite, the 1v1 battle. For the 1v1 battle, the app uses data from your personal training section to match you up with a cuber of your same skill level in seconds. Then it functions similarly to the standard training section where you have 30 seconds for both sh the scramble and the inspection. So I do a much faster scramble here, end up with 14 seconds for inspection. Not seeing much here. Notice my opponent on the top right of my screen view, his or her cube starts moving here. That means either they did the shuffle much faster than me or they didn't use their full inspection time. Either case probably indicates to me they're probably a better cuber than me, so I'm not feeling hopeful on this. And then the fact that I am just botching this solve certainly is not helping. But I've got a couple of pairs done here, um, doing some weird stuff that I wouldn't normally do in a solve, kind of getting nervous and getting lost. Uh, trying to wrap up F2L, uh, moving into OLL, and then into PLL. You can see my opponent is already finished there now at the top, though they began before me. So it'll show us an official time here, my 28 seconds to their 25 seconds. That'll be counted in my stats on the home screen. Not a great solve, but fun, and this part of the app is really competitive and so, so enjoyable. All in, I would give the online battle section five stars. I'm gonna give the app experience 4.5 or five stars, stars all in, even though I don't really like, care for those first two sections that much. The last two make up for it in a big way. This app is fantastic. The GAN Cube is wonderful. I mean, you're getting a wonderful product at a fairly reasonable price considering how much this does. I would definitely recommend this. Go out and get yours and enjoy it. Well, that's all for now. Signing out till next time.